takes so much work to be in a very good way. How you doing, man? Good. Right. How you doing? Good. 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 Are you guys holding down fort in your office yet? Good boxer, 
uh, knockout artist. And uh, I don't think he has much experience as I have. But um, he got to this level. Um, he got to this level by doing something right. So uh, my job is to go out there and be Floyd Mayweather and be at my best. not sure, but um, Victor Ortiz is going to come out Saturday night, and there's only two things he can do. He either plot, come and, and bang toe-to-toe, -to -toe, if that's what he want to do, because I'm coming straight ahead, and he said he got plans on coming straight ahead. Um, we both are looking for the knockout, so this should be a blockbuster, you know, come Saturday. I've been hit with it. I mean, I mean, you gotta realize I've been in there with the biggest punchers, um, some of the biggest punchers in boxing, and you know, some has landed, some haven't landed. But um, those that you know, they they always say the the guys that's big punchers can't really take a punch. So Saturday, um, like I said before, we're not looking to break uh, Victor Ortiz down. Our job is to go straight ahead. When Shane Mosley hit me with a good shot, I said, you know, that's a part, you know, that comes with the sport. I mean, um, out of 41, out of 41 opponents, you know, of course you're going to have, I mean, six or seven, probably eight guys out of 41 guys was able to land really a solid punch, you know, on Floyd Mayweather. So, you know, uh, the thing is this, um, I believe in, you know, dishing it, dishing it out, you know, instead of taking it. I just told Victor Ortiz, um, you know, in the press conference yesterday, that it's different. It's different on this level. It's not the same. You know, you're used to fighting in ballrooms. Floyd Mayweather is a, I fight in stadiums, in arenas. You know, I'm used to fighting in front of 17,000, 18,000, 20,000. I can go to another country and fight in front of 120,000 because um, I built my fan base. It took a long time, but I built my fan base. And I earned the right to be where I'm at today. I mean, he's telling you guys um, that he'll take the $2.5 million bet. Uh, Victor Ortiz don't want to take the $2.5 million bet. Um, I offered Delahoy the same bet. So it's a $5 million, it's a $5 million bet put out there, 2.5 to Victor. 2.5 to Oscar. Oscar already said no. So it's obvious Oscar don't um, believe in Victor. And you know, only thing I can do is um, go out there and, and do what I do best. And that's to entertain. Um, yes, I did fight <laughs> when Victor, I was champion when Victor Ortiz trainer was champion, but it just let you know um, um, I was a, a very, very smart uh, individual. I was a very, very smart fighter to be able to, you know, to last so long in the sport of boxing and to dominate so long. I can't tell, I'm telling the fans that if Victor Ortiz is looking for the knockout, and I'm looking for the knockout, then it's obvious this fight won't go the distance. Thank you, I appreciate it. No problem, two more, we get right through it. Hey, what's, your, what's up, Univision? Hambre, intocable, intocable. Alambre. Camp um, 
like I said, I, we had camp a little, a little bit longer. Normally camp is around eight weeks, but we had to push it, push the camp back a, a little bit further. So we, we know, uh, you know, we, we don't want to get into the ring and, and, and not be prepared. We want to be prepared fully, um, uh, mentally, physically. We want to be ready for a guy um, that's young and strong like Victor Ortiz. Oscar De La Hoya tried to say all these different things, right? When I, be, when I beat Shane Mosley, he was in his 30s, I'm in my 30s. When I beat Oscar De La Hoya, he in his 30s, I'm in my 30s. Um, they say I'm too, they say I was too big for, they say I was too big for Marquez, but I'm not too big for Pacquiao, but Pacquiao and Marquez is the same size. I mean, De La Hoya went to a Ricky Haddon camp, and said, you know what, you're going to beat Floyd Mayweather. He went to Shane Mosley camp and said, you know what, you got the remedy to beat Floyd Mayweather. I mean, it, this goes on and on. The thing, it's like, damn if I do, damn if I don't. The thing, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. The only thing I can say is I'm blessed. Mayweather loves Mexico. I um, mean, you know, I always embrace uh, my Latino and my my Hispanic fans with open arms. I mean, uh, over the years, you know, the, Me the like I said before, over the years, the Latino and the Hispanic fans have shown me love. Have shown me a lot of love, and I'm very, very uh, thankful for that. You know, I look forward to someday coming over to Mexico and fight. Pacquiao, like I said before, it's obvious Manny Pacquiao is hiding something. That's why he don't want to take the random blood and urine test. Um, Ortiz is taking a test. Uh, Mosley is taking a test. Um, and, and you see uh, what has happened thus far um, when, I'm, when, I'm fighting, when I'm fighting these guys on even playing field. tuning in in Mexico, all my Lat my Latino fans, my Hispanic fans, tune in. I um, mean, of course, I want you to support me, but uh, Victor Ortiz, you know, he, he's a young, strong Mexican fighter. And I, even though, yeah, I mean, he's from American soil, you know, I know he, he bleeds green, red, and white. Support him. Uh, I mean, support the fight. You, you guys got Canelo. He's the world champion. He's the WBC champion. Victor Ortiz is the, is the WBC champion. And it's about uh, giving you guys entertainment. So tune in Saturday. Thank you.
Absolutely. You ready? He and the sin is funny. Well, you know, to all to my first fans, of course, um, of course, Grand Rapids, Michigan, born and raised. Um, I have to do it for the fans of Grand Rapids. I have to. Um, you guys have stuck behind me for 16 years, longer than 16 years. You guys have been behind me since uh, 1987. So my job is to go out there and be at my best, uh, execute the game plan, listen, be smart. And, um, of course, I'm looking for the knockout. Victor Ortiz is looking for the knockout. So um, all, the fans that's, all the fans that's tuning in right now, um, you can buy pay-per-view. Um, this is something that you can't miss. Well, I'm, you know, this is my last, um, I'm working on my last contract in boxing. You know, I got the biggest contract. Um, actually, I got the biggest contract in sports history, and um, it's amazing to, you know, to be 34 and, and get the biggest contract in, in sports history. Um, my, my job is just, just to go out there and be Floyd Mayweather, uh, do what I do best, that's be smart, listen, and um, I'm still hungry. What else can I say? Uh, my legacy um, don't need any I mean, like, like you just said, you just said that um, normally when a guy is um, reached 30, they say his um, skills deteriorate. And, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten better over the years, you know, uh, with experience. Um, my thing is to uh, just be happy, be positive, and just be thankful for the fans at Grand Rapids supporting me for so long. Thank you.